Hello, so today is gonna be a little bit different. I wanted to upload a video. I've been talking for a while about doing a video with um, decals because I have gotten better. I wanna show you guys how I do them. So it's not gonna be a long video. It's a short process, but um, I did wanna take you through everything. So we've got a couple of CM Punk t-shirt decals. Those are just extras. And then I just grab these torsos. These are the torsos that I, I will just like pop the heads on so I can paint. So um, these are just extras. This is stuff that doesn't matter. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I used to do and what I do now. So i um, gonna cut this edge off so it's just the black. And I chose black decals because these are a little more difficult and it was more important for me to figure out a better way to do these than like some clear ones. So I'm gonna cut this one out as well. And then we will get to it, but I've got same stuff as always. I've got, a, I've got two paint brushes and I don't know if it really matters that much if you um, like cross contaminate or whatever. If you mix up the uh, micro set and micro sole, but I use different paint brushes just cause I've got my water. So I just keep some water on my desk with the lid. I've got my sponge my tweezers and then a little bit out of frame we've got my hair dryer over here and that'll come in shortly so normally obviously this is in, on my time lapse when i do it but we're going to take my chicago decal you can get a little bit better idea of like how long things sit um i know that like there we go nice and flat when curb stomp gives you instructions it'll say hold it in the water for like 15 seconds i'm pretty sure so what we're gonna do here is cover the area and i put it on i put a lot of it on and i'm i'm not an expert i just um i know that i had nowhere to go when um i started applying decals it just wasn't helpful i needed to see someone doing exactly what to do and i didn't have that so i figured if this helps anyone if it helps one, two people, then this video was a success. So we've got it all over there. And these black ones, these black decals typically take just longer in general. So it is starting to peel off. So I like to keep it in there until it starts like coming off of the back paper. Grab it with the tweezers. So we've got the decal here and we'll just place it right on the middle. So, what I used to do would be to press it down a little bit. So we got it on here. Now I'm gonna take my decal softener, put some layers of that on. And help some of the creases. So you can see like a little bit is starting to form more to the figure, which is what we are going for. Then when I just I would go through, press it down a little more. And then typically you don't really get a lot of creases there. So like you can see this one, I guess not quite down. For the most part, this one went pretty well. Like if, I don't know if you can really tell. That edges up a little bit, but this one worked out well. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't go as well so this torso is more flat there's not like a lot of um, spots for it's not as much definition so you're gonna see this one you got you got ripped up abs ripped up chest this one is just kind of flat so that is another reason it was a little bit easier so now we're going to do how I have started doing all of my decals so 
you're, we're gonna bust out the, the handy dandy hair dryer. So, decals in there, same process. Going to get as much of this on as we can, make it nice and easy to stick on there. So this was one of the issues I had with the more defined things was that when you have all these cracks and crevices, the decal can't really get in there. And then it just, you know, it doesn't sit as well. So we get all that on there. Grab our decal. And I'm going to lay it on and the process is going to be much the same as last time. So going to get this on here. Pat it down a little bit. And a lot of the times when you get the like cracking of the decal, you lose some of the color on it is when you are pressing it down. So with something this defined and something that has more like cuts in it, I won't press it down as much. And I got this tip from 3XR Studio. I use his decal library. He kind of told me about it. I gave it a shot. I don't know if I do it exactly the way he does it, but um, I took his advice and I ran with it and it has worked out very well. So you can see here, it has not like, it's not sitting, whoops. It's not sitting down like nice and firm with the edges right here. So I'm gonna try and press it down a little bit. But then we are gonna get the hair dryer. So I'm gonna close these up just so it doesn't blow over. And most of the time I don't use my hair dryer on work or er, in the time lapse like I do it off screen because the decals blow everywhere. But I made a point to uh, not um, leave decals laying. So we're just going to turn it on. It's gonna be loud, my apologies. So I put it on high and then just hit it a little bit. And then I'm going to very, very carefully go through, press it down. Because you're essentially melting the decal. So if you move it a ton, so like make sure you're just going straight down, straight up. And then sometimes I might, like if I go through, I might put some more decal softener on it, but you really have to be careful because once it's already starting to melt like this and then you do decal softener, you can kind of start to tear the decal, but you can see like it's really like in there in the definition of the torso. So this one, like you can, you can see the cracks up in here. Whereas this one, worked out much better. So this has helped me a ton. Um, sometimes, so you can kind of see on Chicago, like the letters a little bit smudged. So what I'll do, like sometimes there's air bubbles in there. I'll take a little bit of softener and then just like smooth it out a little bit. And then we'll press it back down. So there you have it. Always trying to get better at this. And this is something with decals that has helped me a lot. So hopefully it helps you guys out. I'm going to do some more videos. I'm going to talk about some of the skin tones, the mixes I use, some of the paints I use. And um, I know people have been asking and sometimes I, I forget. I, I try my best but I forget easily. So um, there will be more coming. Hopefully you guys like this one. Hopefully you helped. And if you ever have any questions about customs, feel free to reach out in the comments. Feel free to reach out on Instagram. All of that other word in other words, otherwise, 
please continue to like, share, subscribe, support the channel. I appreciate it a lot. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy more action figures. Figure dude out.